Hello everyone and welcome to my reading wrap-up for the adventure thon This took place back in March and while I didn't get to every challenge, I did read a few books. The first stop on my path that I was able to get to a book for was the challenge for Cliff, which was to read a book with a nature word in the title. For this, I read The Door in the Hedge by Robin McKinley. This is a book of a few short stories that retell fairy tales. It was okay. There wasn't really anything unique about them and the descriptive style that you might often associate with fairy tales just wasn't really high. Everything was hyperbole. All the princesses were beautiful, the princesses were heroic, the weather was always great, so there wasn't really anything interesting about them. I did enjoy Rana's story, the retelling of the princess and the frog, but overall I didn't enjoy it too much. I gave it two stars. The next stop that I was able to get to on my journey was Fate which was to read a book set in the past. For this, I read I Am Mordred by Nancy Springer. This is a retelling of Camelot from Mordred's perspective. I really didn't like this. In fact, I DNF'd it. I appreciated what the author was trying to do. I just don't think it was done well. She tried to incorporate themes like preconceptions and fate. Are you fated to do certain things that people think you will? But it seemed like she really had to bend and twist the original Arthurian myth to make this story work and it just didn't. Everything felt forced and unnatural. The writing was really dry and bland so I gave it one star. The last stop on the journey that I was able to reach was the prompt for Journey which was to read a book with more than 500 pages. Wicked is over 500 pages, but I couldn't get through it. I DNF'd it. I don't even remember what percentage of the way through, which I was really disappointed about. I thought, just based on the hype and the play and everything, that I would enjoy it, but it was rough. The first 20% of this book that focused on Elphaba's parents was completely unnecessary. I didn't see a point, a trajectory. It was bizarrely sexual in nature. I don't know why it was there. And then after that point, when Elphaba grows up, we don't even get her perspective for a while. We get Glinda's perspective. This book is supposedly about the Wicked Witch. It's her story, but we don't even get her point of view until over a quarter of the way through. We don't get an explanation for her green skin, her inability to touch water, you know, the major factors that make up this character. I skipped to the the end to see if there was something that the book was going toward and no it was a hot mess so I DNF'd it. In an effort to complete the challenge of Journey to read more than 500 pages, I switched to Sarum by Edward Rutherford, which is well over 500 pages. I think it's about a thousand. This is a historical novel retelling of basically the entire history of England, and I couldn't get through this one either. It wasn't terrible, the writing was decent, but the scope of it was just so sweeping and so plodding and unfocused in me really getting invested in characters or particular situations that it didn't work for me. I DNF'd it, but I gave it two stars ultimately. Hopefully between Wicked and Sarum, I actually did get to 500 pages total, and I think I did to actually count this journey challenge as completed. And that's everything that I read for the adventure thon Yes, it was three DNFs and one book that I didn't really like, but all of these books were on my physical TBR shelf, so I was able to get through that shelf, which is an accomplishment, and I'm pleased about that. Let me know down in the comments if you read any of these books, what your thoughts on them are, and if you participated in the fantasy adventure thon Thanks for joining me.